Good morning. Wow, that worked. Well, good morning, everybody. And uh, I understand there are 100 people waiting to get, out, get in from outside. There happen to be some seats over here in the front. I guess everybody's afraid to come up to the front of the. So if you're looking for some seats, they're right here. First of all, I want to thank all of you for showing up on a uh, 8.30 on a Wednesday morning in Cannes is quite an accomplishment. And frankly, uh, I'm, I'm glad you did. And I, I know you won't be disappointed based on the uh, panel and, and individuals you're going to be hearing from this morning. Uh, we're particularly proud of this event. Uh, many of you know we started this. This is our sixth annual Women's Leadership Breakfast in Cannes. When we started it, no, when we started this breakfast, we were the first ones to really focus on women in creative leadership roles in our industry. And frankly, what a poor job we were doing as an industry uh, to promote and, and, and really develop uh, female leadership, not just on the creative side, but throughout our industry. And we're particularly proud of what we're doing here at IPG. As, as many of you know, it's one of uh, the main issues that I address from an IPG DNA point of view. We, we want to make sure that diversity and inclusion is part of the DNA of, of IPG. Um, and uh, we, not only do we want to have sessions on it, but we really want to make it part and sort of walk the talk. And we're particularly proud of uh, the accomplishments we've done at IPG, but there's, there's plenty of work to be done. And when we focus on the agenda for these breakfasts, uh, many of you know that sometimes we've talked about the glass ceiling. I remember we had Martha Stewart here talking about the glass ceiling. And we talk about um, leadership capabilities and how uh, work-life balance and equal pay. So when we were focusing on the agenda for today, uh, Gail, who, who I will introduce in a, in a second, said we, wanna, we don't want to talk about it. Not that we don't have those issues, but let's really celebrate accomplishments of some great female leadership. Uh, and, 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 <clears throat> so consistent with the theme of this uh, breakfast, we listen to Gail. And that's exactly uh, what, what we're going to do. But just one point about what we're doing. Uh, at IPG, to make it part of our, our DNA and our culture, we actually hold our leadership uh, ac accountable for performance and diversity and inclusion. And we're particularly proud of the results we're seeing. On, on the woman front, 54% of our leadership management at IPG uh, consists of females. Uh, that's, that's <clears throat> And 40% of our board of directors are, are represented by females, which puts us, uh, compared, to the, <laughs> compared to the average of 18% uh, in the S&P 500, that's pretty sad. I think we're in the in, uh, 12 companies that have that kind of representation on our board. And we will continue to take this message wherever we go. And, and, and I can't help look out at this audience and think of it as a, a recruiting opportunity when I see all these, uh, these accomplished people out here. Um, and I'm also proud of the fact that uh, the 3% Club has nominated me as a man ambassador. All right? And, and uh, I, I love that. And, and this afternoon, I will be, I think, the only male on a panel at the girls' lounge. So. Uh, so I love this, okay? <laughs> but more importantly, we have some really 14 incredible individuals to tell their story and, and their journey, if you will. And I can't think of a better venue to, to, to uh, talk about that, because in Cannes we celebrate creativity and how we bring that uh, to, 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 to life, if you will. And we're gonna hear some great stories about accomplishments uh, of some wonderful people, and I'm so appreciative of all the individuals who've agreed to participate in this. And I was thinking about how do I sort of introduce this entire session? And I'm particularly proud of some work uh, that M United did, uh, working with, of course, the Microsoft team, uh, which sort of sets the tone of what this entire uh, breakfast is all about. So let's roll that, if you don't mind. Thank you. 
One inventor is Benjamin Franklin. Leonardo da Vinci. Thomas Edison. Alexander Bell Graham. Hmm. No. That's kind of a tough one. Hmm. Um, in school, it was always a male inventor. I just realized. <laughs> To know that there were women before me, it gives me like motivation that I can invent something and make maybe like a change in the world, and that would be really cool. <laughs> So that's why we're in Cannes, the power of, of communication and messaging. And I can't think of a better way to kick off our meeting and now to introduce Gail Heyman, who's our president of Weber Shamwick, to get this morning started. Thank you again for your participation.